So I made a video recently talking about things I don't like about Snapchat and it seemed to get a lot of views uh, and a lot of people seemed to like the video and I thought to myself, okay, that video did well, so why not make a video talking about another piece of social media that I don't like uh, and that is Facebook. I really don't like Facebook, I'm not gonna lie, like with Snapchat I was just complaining about how the filters are cringy and how sometimes the ads can be annoying. Very petty things when you think about it. But Facebook is the complete opposite. Like, genuinely, the things I don't like about Facebook are legal. They're actual issues. They're serious. And in today's video, I'm hopefully going to be trying to discuss them with you guys. If you guys enjoy this video any moment in time, be sure... Be sure to leave me a like, it helps me out a lot. Be sure to leave me a comment, I want to see your guys' opinions. And also be sure to subscribe to the How To Cameron channel if you're new to... So Facebook is probably one of the most popular social medias. Facebook's been a part of my life for like 10 years and I don't even use it anymore. Like I haven't checked up on it for like goddamn a year at this point. But people have talked about it for like 10 years of my life. Like I've knew about it for 10 years. And because it's constantly in the news, I, I keep getting reminded of how bad this website really is. Now I'm not bothered about whether or not you actually like Facebook. I, I couldn't care less. I mean, just because you like an app or a website doesn't mean I'm gonna judge you. I think it'd be extremely stupid if I did. A little bit foolish in my opinion. But Facebook is just awful and I think the reason why people still like it is simply because it's relevant You know, it's too hard to not go on if that makes any sense So the reason why I'm actually making this video is because there was a video recommended to me by a good friend the Alex Jones show called scientific proof Facebook makes you depressed and to be fair, I don't think you need scientific proof. <laughs> I, I really don't think you need scientific proof to prove that. So the first thing I don't like about Facebook is how no one posts anything anymore. Now, I don't know if this is just specific to who I'm friends with. To be fair, not, not many of my friends use this at all. Uh, it's mostly just people at school who I don't like anymore. And I don't want to see them ever again, but I can't be bothered to remove them. But effectively, all they do is reblog popular videos. Now, that seems pretty harmless. But what is more harmful, however, is how a lot of these videos in which they're reblogging, you know, making more famous, are normally just ripped off YouTube. So the biggest example of this is Boogie. So Boogie makes a series in which he uh, portrays a character called Francis, in which Francis gets very angry. But in that commercial, they try to get like one of everybody, right? Like there's the tall people, the short people, there's the, pe the people of color, and there's white people, and there's women, and there's men, and there's transgender, and there's homosexuals, and, there and there's all kinds of different people, right? No f***ing fat people! But what happened is a lot of these Facebook pages were literally just ripping his content and uploading it to Facebook and because people were reblogging it it was actually getting more views than the original Francis sketch on YouTube and in my opinion that's just stupid there's no real rule put in place with Facebook related to copyright and it's a bit like how YouTube used to be in 2010 you could literally upload a full film and you would get away with it you know no one would care Nowadays, if you upload a full film, it'll get demonetized within the first 10 seconds of it being uploaded. Then it'll get copyright claimed almost instantly, and then it'll be taken down off YouTube within a couple of minutes. Back in 2010, it would be up for months, absolutely months, and you could even make money off it. But it's just stupid how Facebook allows this content to be like reblogged because... These brands, I think the biggest example that I could find was Unilad. I, I think it was taken down, actually. And the reason why it was blocked is because of copyright. Uh, yeah. It had 34 million followers. And a lot of the content that they were re reblogging was copyrighted. It was other people's content. Now, that seems pretty harmless because you can't actually make money from Facebook videos. Which is scummy already because, I mean, if you're sharing videos on Facebook and there's ads being placed next to that video, technically you should make a little bit of commission off it. That, that's just my opinion. Uh, but obviously Facebook aren't going to put them in place because that means they make less money. And when I talk about my other points, you'll understand that they really really want to make as much money off this as possible uh, but effectively Unilad you know they're reblogging this uh, these videos uh, which is a breach of copyright law they're branding it themselves so not only are they making their website more popular but they're also making Facebook a lot more money and a lot more popular and the only reason why this is working is because they're breaching copyright laws it's just so stupid number two is Facebook's privacy breaches Jesus Christ like 
Facebook, when you think about it, literally makes profit off of your own life. If you're an avid Facebook user, you know, you'll upload pictures of yourself, you'll upload videos uh, of things that you're doing. And Facebook is showing ads next to it. So effectively, it's making money off your life, which already is scummy. But I can give it a pass when you think about it. You are using their database. They are hosting it for you. But actually, they don't even respect your privacy. If you literally go to Google and you search Facebook privacy scandal, there is multiple years, okay? Because this has happened so many times. Like 2010, 2016, 2017, 2017, 2008. Like, it's constant. They're not doing anything about it. They're just hoping that the press dies down. They still breach privacy. And to fair, it really saddens me. It, it really does. And, and on top of that, Instagram, which is owned by Facebook, I didn't even know that until a couple of weeks ago. Instagram has been guilty of using your pictures as stock footage. They've literally been using pictures that their users have been taking. They've been putting them on stock websites like Shutterstock. People have been paying for these images and Instagram have been making all the profit. And guess who Instagram's owned by? Flipping Facebook. <laughs> so it's just stupid. Like they're trying to make as much money out of this and it really annoys me. So if you actually look at this privacy scandal, uh, Forbes is a good website, so you can trust it. Apparently, it's been tracking websites that you visit online. It reveals your name and names of your Facebook friends to some advertisers. It's just crazy. And I know you may be going, okay, Cameron, what's an advertiser going to do with your name? And the answer is, we don't flip in, no. Okay, like that's the thing with advertisers. You can't flip in, trust them, okay? Cue a mid-roll. <laughs> that would be so ironic if a mid-roll had played now. Advertisers pay a ton of money for your name. And the reason why is because they can email you directly and they can make it directly to you. They can use your name. And for offers, generally speaking, it's been proven that psychologically, that makes sense. I, I'm intelligent, by the way. I, I'm definitely, I definitely know what I'm talking about. But psycho psychologically, it's proven that if you get an email uh, of an advertisement and they direct it to you, if they go, hey, Cameron, you, you need to shave buy a shaving kit, if they actually directly address your name and they know your name and they know your friends' names and they know their, uh, the email account names, there's a higher chance that you'll actually purchase their item because you think that they're directly talking to you and you feel more interested in the topic. And that's just crazy. Like, they're literally using this breach of privacy to make more money. On top of that, number three talks about money, tax evasion. Facebook are very guilty for tax evasion. And this just angers me so much because you've got to realize Facebook, they don't have that many employees. So they're not really helping out the local economy. You know, they're not employing that many people. But on top of that, they're not paying their taxes. Like, this is the thing. You can tell when a company cares about the economy. And you can tell when, you know, a company doesn't. This company clearly doesn't because they evade so much tax every single year it's in the news. Oh, they evaded flipping like 95% of their tax. I don't think many people realize how rich Facebook really is. Facebook paid 4.3 grand in corporation tax. Corporation tax is normally about 25% uh, in the UK. Believe it or not, that means that they should be making four times that. So they should only be making about 17 grand. They shared a total of 35 million in share bonuses, yet paid 4.3 grand in tax. What? The profits have been doubling. Like, this annoys me so much. If you have a company that's struggling, I can understand why they tax evade. But not when a company is growing exponentially. They're clearly not struggling. And to be fair, like, it, it's just sad because our economy, the UK economy, is struggling. You know, we're going through Brexit. There's a deficit still. We're going in debt. And these massive corporations that operate predominantly in this country, they're dominating the market. They're making all this money off us. And they're not flipping paying tax. It's just insane to me. And the last thing I don't like about Facebook, and th this is not at all that big of a deal, but I wanted to mention something a little bit less, uh, you know, serious, something a little bit more lighthearted, 
is when people complain about others on Facebook, like, you know how you can type uh, on your timeline, like, whatever you want. I've seen so many of these posts in which people have been complaining about how their life sucks and how their friends are all betraying them. And I literally read it like, I, I don't care. I'm sorry. I really don't. Like, if you have an issue with friends, just go away. Talk to someone who cares, believe it or not. Don't share it publicly. It just doesn't make sense to me. And then they complain about their life being dead hard when, in theory, you know, they don't have to walk 50 goddamn miles to get water. So it's not like their life is particularly hard. It just annoys me, this social media site does. And it's crazy to think how long they've got away with this. Like, they've been a massive company now for over 10 years. And yet, they're still getting away with tax evasion. They're still evading people's privacy for more money. And they're still breaching copyright laws indirectly. And no one cares! It's just crazy, though, <laughs> that a lot of people will complain about YouTubers, for example, for being scummy and trying to squeeze as much money off the platform. And I'm guilty of this too, you know, I've constantly been complaining about morgues doing the same. However, there's companies that literally have done this for years on end. They've made tons more money and they don't deserve it. And they're actually a lot more illegal, yet no one seems to care about them. Hopefully this has changed your opinion on Facebook. That's the main point of this video because they shouldn't be able to get away with this for any longer. It's just crazy. Thank you guys for watching this video. Leave me a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave me a comment and also be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new today. It helps me out a lot. Hope you guys have a good day and I'll, and I'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.